Just under one year ago, I began to convert my minivan into a camper van. I did the conversion on a budget, but I managed to get a bed, a couch, and a kitchen. I've camped far away in places like New Mexico and Colorado. I've also camped three hours away for local mountain bike races. The three things that didn't work out in my van were storing my clothes, entertainment, and other random objects I need to live my daily life. I'd usually keep my clothes in a duffel bag on the floor and just stuff the dirty clothes in the corner. I would keep my toothbrush, lotion, deodorant, and so on in the cup holders and would keep my computer and any books in a bag on the floor next to the kitchen. I needed a place for all that stuff to go because after a while, sand, dirt, and pine needles would collect not just on the floor, but on all my stuff too. So today, I'm going to build a bookshelf, closet, bureau, it could be called whatever, and I'd only be using scrap wood for this project. I first wanted something that would be able to sit without interfering with the passenger seat, so I had to make it at an angle. I did some measuring, marking, and chalk lining and got to work. I cut a triangle out and went back to the van to make sure the angle was correct. I traced it and cut another triangle, and then I had two walls. With 2x2s, two I built a frame around the back wall and then on the two sides. Because of the odd shape in my lazy craftsmanship, it didn't sit level, so I put a frame around the bottom, and it just made it look nicer too. To make the top shelf, I cut a 1x2 as a rail, and an old fence picket as a shelf. I cut blocks to hold the shelf from a 2x4. And screwed them to the wall. Then all my footage got corrupted. After I was finished, it looked somewhat like a monstrosity, but I gave it a test run in my van. I hung it off the side a little bit, it was somewhat unstable sitting on the bench, and it was just really tall. But on the good side, there's a lot of room for my clothes on the bottom. But when I sat in the driver's seat, I saw half of the rearview mirror was blocked. So instead of doing the right thing, I continued on the path of bad carpentry and broke up the sawzall. And look how nice it is. It's now the same height as the passenger seat. It's out of the way and the top looks a lot nicer, especially with the 1x2 stacked on top. Although the video is ending, I'm not done with this project, so keep checking back if this was interesting. Thanks for watching.